Hi everyone, uh, welcome to my YouTube channel and in this video I'm going to talk about the upcoming Venus retrograde in the sign of Leo. Uh, so this year Venus will go retrograde on July 22nd until uh, September 3rd or 4th depending on where you live. Uh, and uh, it will retrograde from the 28th degree of Leo until the 12th degree of Leo. Uh, so yeah, uh, this year uh, the Venus uh, retrograde will be making quite a few aspects uh, to outer planets, so it should be interesting. And uh, before I start talking about the aspects, let's briefly review uh, what Venus retrograde means. Uh, astronomically speaking, Venus retrograde uh, is a time when Venus uh, comes between the Earth and the Sun, okay? Uh, so, uh, the themes of Venus will be coming like the to, uh, will be coming to Earth without the filter of the Sun, yeah. Uh, so, we will be reviewing everything Venus related, which is uh, love, finances, aesthetics, roughly speaking, uh, without the filter of the ego, yeah. Uh, because the uh, Venus will be very close to us. Normally, Venus uh, is like uh, either on the side of the sun or like on the other side of the sun. Yeah, so uh, the sun sort of like filters uh, Venus energies, but when she's really close, uh, we don't have that filter. Or, or like uh, from another point of view, um, our ego will be filtered through Venus themes. Yeah, uh, how we relate. We kind of like put away uh, our ego and like uh, focus on the Venus stuff. So yeah, anyway. Um, another thing about the Venus retrograde is that it happens in the same sign every eight years, uh, meaning that uh, we had Venus retrograde in Leo back in uh, August 2015. Well, like from late July until uh, late August, okay? Uh, and back then it retro retrograded from the early degrees of uh, Virgo until like the mid degrees of Leo. Uh, so, uh, try to remember what happened uh, in uh, your life back then, uh, eight years ago? Try to remember, because uh, similar themes will be triggered uh, in the same area of your life. Uh, we all have been, uh, Leo in some area of our chart. Yeah, so uh, try to remember what happened, because similar themes will be triggered. But obviously the circumstances will be different, because the outer planets are in different locations this time, and they will be making different aspects to Venus this time, okay? But still, it's useful to remember what happened uh, then. And uh, Venus retrograde actually is the rarest retrograde among the planets, so that's why it is like it's uh, extra important. Uh, Venus goes retrograde every 18 months, uh, so like every year and a half, while other planets uh, they go retrograde uh, almost like uh, every year. Okay, uh, so Mars and Venus are the only ones that uh, retrograde uh, rarely, and Venus is the one that does it like uh, the least. Okay, um, yeah, so. Uh, that means last time we had Venus retrograde was in uh, late December until uh, late January. Okay, I think it was like from December 19th, uh, 2021 until January 29th, 2022 in the sign of Capricorn. Uh, so try to remember what happened then. Uh, again, like uh, you were probably reviewing like uh, money matters, relationships, uh, some signs uh, were probably experiencing uh, relationship crisis, maybe they broke up, uh, yeah, stuff like that. Uh, so this time it will retrograde in Leo, so now this time a different sign will be experiencing that relationship stuff more prominently than others, okay? Uh, so let's begin. This time, um, the aspects of Venus, uh, one second, let me find it right here. Uh, let's think of it like, uh, I try to imagine it this way. Mm, Venus uh, will be kind of far away from the Sun. Uh, every time Venus is about to go retrograde, it, it is about 60 degrees away from the Sun. Uh, meaning that uh, Venus is uh, in an unilluminated territory, so to speak. Because think of it this way. Uh, sun illuminates, it kind of creates a path, but this time Venus is ahead of the Sun. So she's... Um, kind of like lost a little bit because there was no illumination she's like in sort of like darkness uh, and she's confused and she she's like relying on her instincts and intuition i guess uh, and yeah so 
uh, that's why she will kind of like stop and be like okay I'm going a bit too far and she starts uh, going backwards to join the sun uh, yeah and so this time uh, the interesting thing is Venus retrograde uh, will begin with a conjunction to Lilith um, and Lilith uh, is the anti-perfect wife so to speak uh, in mythology uh, Venus was the first wife of Adam uh, but she refused to obey him she was not submissive uh, she didn't want to do feminine uh, traditional feminine things so I can do the housework uh, sit at home wait for your husband and care for children no she didn't want to do all those things she wanted to do whatever she wanted to do mm. and in some uh, myths she portrayed as this like uh, uh, woman who hated children yeah like the very dark side uh, so everything that we associate with the good woman really seems the opposite of that and so this time Venus uh, will station retrograde in conjunction with that Lilith and another thing I forgot to mention about Lilith is that uh, it is a point in the sky it's not uh, a planet uh, yeah don't confuse it with the asteroid Lilith so but this time it's going to be conjunct with that point and that point is uh, where the moon is the farthest from the uh, from the earth okay you know uh, earth is here moon is here and so uh, it goes around the earth uh, and it's not like uh, perfect uh, so not, not like equal diameter uh, sometimes it's close to earth sometimes it's far away so Lilith is that point where it's the furthest from the sun and if you look at the sky during full moons when it's conjunct Lilith, the uh, moon is small because it's far away from the earth. But when uh, the moon, the full moon is uh, opposite Lilith, it's very close to earth. Yeah, so the moon is big. Um, and you know, moon is nurturing, caring, where we feel safe and comfortable. Uh, it's uh, associated with mother, you know, mothers nurture and raise us. Uh, we feel protected by mothers. Yeah, well, supposed to. And so yeah and this time uh, Venus will be uh, kind of like hanging out with that rebel and that rebel will be like hey Venus like why are you tolerating that uh, look why is, is are you allowing this to happen to you and Venus will be like oh yeah that's right like why am I doing this um, so she will kind of stop and like she will be in that kind of like bad company like she will be getting that bad influence from the rebel and Venus uh, is like you know this beautiful girl like very flirtatious uh, almost like naive a people pleaser yeah so Venus will be like hey why are you pleasing everyone um, yeah so Venus will kind of stop and think and uh, this time with this uh, Venus retrograde in 2023 the interesting thing is uh, Venus will not only be conjunct uh, Lilith uh, but also she will be like having these fingers pointed at her from two generational planets uh, Neptune in the late degrees of uh, Pisces and Pluto in the late degrees of Capricorn so yeah the, the finger of God will be pointing at Venus so I feel like collectively we will we'll be pointing a finger at some woman who will be on the news we will be projecting our frustrations with the feminine on that woman like um, or women or like feminine themes like uh, maybe some women who are um, unapologetically sexual uh, yeah uh, or women who refuse to be like mothers um, rebellious women uh, maybe feminists will be somehow prominent uh, on the news uh, during that period so yeah we, as a coll uh, collectively we will be pointing fingers and ex projecting because uh, those two planets Pluto and Neptune are very generational they're far away they're not personal planets so yeah it's like our collective subconscious um, so it should be an interesting time I would uh, suggest uh, paying attention to the news during that period I feel like we will be reviewing what it means to be a woman okay uh, feminine ideal uh, femininity feminine sexuality how women should behave i think we will be talking about those topics a lot uh, so yeah uh, on july 22nd we will start that uh, period of retrogression uh, with that intense energy you, usually when planets are stationed retrograde uh, that's when uh, we feel the uh, retrogression the most yeah so uh, we will start uh, and then uh, we will start experiencing sudden changes sudden shocking revelations around the our relationships um, 
uh, around finances, okay, uh, feminine ideals, uh, relating love, all those themes, we will be experiencing shocking revelations, uh, sudden news, sudden changes, maybe sudden breakups, uh, because Venus uh, will start squaring uh, Uranus in Taurus, okay? Uh, I mean, the exact square is gonna happen on August uh, 9th, but we will start feeling the effect of that uh, square uh, on July 27th, okay? Uh, it will, um, we will start feeling. So that means like five days after Venus will start going retrograde, we will start feeling the shocking side of the revelations, I guess, like we will find find out things that are unpleasant that will make us start questioning our relationships uh, yeah like uh, the way we relate to people maybe the way we spend money uh, yeah because Venus rules all those uh, things uh, and then on July uh, on that same day when uh, Venus uh, squ uh, starts squaring Uranus uh, it will be conjunct uh, Mercury on the 28th degree of Leo um, so I feel like uh, July 27th is a good day to start uh, really talking about uh, your Venus stuff, uh, Venus related frustrations maybe, uh, because Mercury is communication, it's the messenger, maybe you will receive news uh, around that day uh, regarding your Venus matters. Uh, if, you, if it's your finances, maybe you will find out that now you have to make more payments each month uh, on your loan and that will be like a shocking news for you and that will, will require you to readjust your budget and uh, maybe you will start uh, being worried like how am I gonna do monthly payments each month with this increase or like uh, I don't know like maybe you'll find out that your credit uh, score changed or there was some fraud or like maybe you will find out that your significant other has been spending uh, a lot of money like uh, without your knowledge uh, or maybe you'll find out they were having an affair or something uh, I mean that is likely to happen on August 9th but like uh, if you are having uh, relationship issues yeah I would say uh, it's July 27th is a good day to start talking about that like uh, maybe you are having relationship issues and you uh, have a talk with your trusted friend or family member about your frustrations uh, if you don't want to talk about those things i would suggest writing it down because mercury is also uh, the planet of writing communication words yeah so i feel like uh, it's a good day to write down your thoughts uh, and then try to come back and check it out uh, after venus retrograde finishes and see maybe you gained some insights during this retrograde around those uh, those issues okay um so uh, that revelation whatever revelation we get uh, from v venus square to uranus uh, from july 27th until like um uh, august 19th but exact uh, square will be august 9th so uh, we will start healing we will start uh, uh, yeah we will start uh, some uh, we will gain some sort of understanding uh, around uh, on uh, August 13th so think of it this way Venus uh, she was hanging out with Lilith with the rebel she started going backwards uh, okay she was kind of feeling sleepy tired and so she kind of like comes back to the castle of the Sun the king okay she comes back to the castle uh, she kind of sleeps she disappears uh, yeah she, she should disappear on August uh, when on August uh, 2nd yeah Venus will become invisible so she will start uh, hanging out with the Sun and on August 13th she will have some kind of understanding illumination okay uh, so collectively uh, we will gain some understanding like what is this Venus retrograde is trying to teach us mm, because uh, Sun is illumination and Venus is our uh, values relationships love feelings uh, yeah finances so uh, expect some sort of understanding uh, around August 13th uh, so yeah Venus will be getting her beauty sleep in the castle of the Sun uh, we won't uh, see Venus uh, uh, yeah so she will disappear from the evening sky and then re-emerge as a uh, as a uh, morning star okay 
uh, and that will happen uh, on August 23rd. Uh, yeah, but I'm getting ahead. So, uh, as I said, um, there will be revelations, understanding, and then uh, we will start healing after that. So, remember, we will start with the confusion, uh, frustration, and then we will receive some sort of news that will cause us like uh, pain, obviously, uh, and then uh, we will have some understanding and that understanding will lead us to uh, healing because uh, right after that conjunction of the Sun and Venus uh, Venus uh, will uh, make a trine to Chiron in Aries, uh, a fellow fire sign and when there is a good aspect uh, between uh, the wounded healer and Venus it means there will be some sort of healing if there was like a tense aspect, uh, it would uh, indicate some sort of pain around relationships. But this time, because of the good aspect, it's healing. Imagine like Chiron sort of like uh, uh, sending uh, medication to Venus and that kind of like, or magic potion, I guess, if we're talking about kings and castles. Yeah, it's going to send that to Venus and Venus is going to uh, start healing because of that. Uh, so think of Venus like coming back to the castle of the sun. Uh, all wounded and sick uh, from the information from Lilith uh, yeah, and all that square to Uranus and so she comes back crying uh, but uh, that potion, the medication from Chiron is gonna make her heal yeah uh, so what else um, after that uh, after we start uh, after Venus starts recovering she will want to do some shopping ther uh, therapy yeah uh, but be careful don't uh, splurge okay don't go like uh, spending money because venus will be making a square to jupiter in taurus uh, the, the square should start uh, around um, like uh, august the mid august uh, but uh, the exact uh, square will be on august 22nd Okay, uh, and since Venus uh, is retrograde, I would suggest uh, don't buy anything new, uh, like don't buy new clothes, uh, don't uh, drastically change your appearance, your style, uh, because when Venus uh, will turn direct, you will regret those changes. Let's say you buy lots of clothes, and uh, uh, but then you're like, why did I spend so much money on these on these things, like? I don't even like these things like that really happened uh, in my case like uh, there were times uh, during Venus retrograde when I bought stuff and then after it turned direct I rarely if ever wore them I was like what was I thinking yeah so save your money okay instead uh, use that uh, Venus square Jupiter uh, energy to review uh, your uh, spending habits because Jupiter is expansion likes to do things big and we have the square in fixed signs so Taurus is a sign of luxury and Leo is also a very luxurious regal sign so yeah don't splurge on like designer clothes at this time so instead try to review like uh, what makes you spend a lot uh, was it like some sort of emotional pain that makes you splurge uh, and waste money like uh, instead try to think yeah like um, what uh, if you really really feel like spending uh, around that time and to do some shopping therapy I would suggest uh, do some like antique purchases yeah go antique shopping because uh, when Venus is retrograde uh, people uh, who are selling those things they don't know the true value of the thing they are selling because Venus is asleep um, in the castle Venus is weak so we don't really see the true value of the thing yeah so uh, it can be a good time to buy used things, antique uh, things. Uh, if you want to buy designer clothes, maybe it's a good time. Uh, it will be a good time to buy a used designer bag. Yeah, because uh, it's still luxury, right? But uh, you will be able to get it uh, at a discounted price, at a good price, a, like good bargain. Yeah, uh, so instead of buying uh, new designer clothes and uh, designer bags, try to buy it uh, you know, used ones try to buy used ones okay um, so what else um, also uh, Venus uh, square Jupiter uh, another thing I need to mention is that uh, the news around that time around August 22nd 
um, might be around uh, the United States spending habits because uh, as you know um, the United States of America is um, a cancer by zodiac sign because uh, it was born on July 4th and so Leo is the second house for uh, America and so when Venus is retrograding in the money house so America I think will be really talking about like the way it spends money yeah uh, so I would expect some news around that topic uh, on August 22nd around that day okay um, so yeah what else uh, do I need to mention I think I mentioned the, most of the aspects and uh, so after all of these uh, trials, uh, re-evaluations, uh, shocking news uh, that will be brought during this Venus retrograde, at the end, we will kind of get a dessert or some sort of like reward for all these uh, troubles. Uh, because Venus uh, will be conjunct Juno uh, when it turns direct. Uh, yeah. So Juno is uh, not like Lilith. Uh, Juno is the wife of um, Jupiter in mythology, so she is like the uh, prototype of this good wife, uh, loyal wife, um, yeah, caring, uh, ideal partner, yeah, even though Jupiter cheated a lot on Juno, but still like uh, from the astrological perspective, Juno is considered a, uh, a good type, uh, a good wife. Uh, uh, it's uh, when it's conjunct uh, something it can uh, signify what kind of partner you will like so let's say you have Venus in uh, Aries conjunct uh, Mars so yeah you like um, Martian partners but anyway I'm derailing right here so when Venus uh, co is conjunct Juno yeah mm -hmm. after all of these uh, re evaluations of relationships and love uh, we will start uh, thinking about our ideal partner who do we want to partner with in marriage because Juno is rules marriage uh, and so Venus and Juno both are very marriage related uh, love uh, themes okay so I feel like after all of this retrograde um, people some people will start uh, thinking about like okay I broke up with this person and now who do I really want to spend my life with who do I want to share my life with uh, who do I want to marry Okay, um, but others, uh, if, they, if your relationship survives this Venus retrograde, maybe you will start thinking like, okay, I want to spend the rest of my life with this person. Like, I want to share my life with this person because I feel like this is a perfect partner for me. Yeah, I feel like uh, we will emerge from this um, Venus retrograde with those thoughts. Okay, um, so uh, Venus uh, will. Uh, turn direct on September 3rd or 4th as I said and then uh, Venus uh, will one second uh, leave the shadow zone uh, on October 6th and it will finally leave Leo uh, after about four months or five months uh, on October 10th okay he will enter uh, Virgo so these are the aspects uh, that uh, this Venus retrograde will have uh, so you can expect some sort of uh, rebellious feminine energy at the beginning as a collective, so like uh, we will be projecting pointing fingers at that feminine energy, at some sort of uh, woman. Uh, yeah. And then uh, we will be feeling that square to Uranus in a fixed sign uh, in Taurus. And so we will be getting some sort of like shocking news um, because Uranus is shocking. Uh, it's sudden changes, sudden transformations. So yeah, I would expect, uh, we should expect some sudden news around the uh, money. Uh, relationships, uh, love, mm, okay, or maybe there will be some sort of like LGBTQ news uh, because Uranus rules that, uh, yeah, so what else? Uh, and then, so we will start uh, slowly healing from all those revelations and news because Chiron will be sending healing vibes uh, through trine aspect to Venus, yes, uh, Chiron will send magic potion to Venus, so this is good news. Mm, we will heal some deep seated wound regarding relationships so uh, try to consciously use this energy try to focus on what hurt you what emotional pain do you have and use that energy uh, what else so on august 13th we will have that aha moment like we will experience some sort of like understanding illumination mm, so yeah 
and then uh, Venus will start squaring Jupiter uh, yeah around August 20th uh, so I would say don't uh, spend too much money it's not a good time to invest uh, Jupiter might make us uh, overly optimistic but uh, I would say try to exercise caution mm, don't splurge okay don't go uh, spending a lot of money on shopping therapy from whatever uh, wound or pain that you experience from all the uh, Venus square Uranus yeah don't go splurging instead try to um, review your money spending habits like uh, yeah uh, how, how do you relate to uh, luxury uh, items like I mean how, I don't know how do you how do you uh, feel about luxury in your life uh, like a thinking from abundance point of view yeah try to review those themes what else uh, and yeah so after all of that uh, after venus turns uh, direct uh, it will be conjunct juno so we will be thinking about marriage stuff like partner commitment yeah and i feel like it's like a dessert after all of this so imagine venus uh, coming out from the castle of the sun uh, she's energized she has had her beauty sleep and now she's back in her uh, good shape yeah so uh, she will come out uh, out of the darkness on august 3rd and when she finally turns direct she will be in that marriage mood yeah i feel like it's like a good ending to venus retrograde so uh, and now in the second part of the video i'm going to talk about uh, what this uh, venus retrograde means for each sign uh, so first is aries mm, for aries uh, that is uh, your fifth house uh, leo rules your fifth house so Venus will be retrograding in your fifth house. That means uh, you will be reevaluating your hobbies. How do you express your creativity? Like I'm in Aries myself, and so recently I started doing all this um, astrology videos. Um, and so I feel like I will be reviewing how do I post the, these videos? Like how do I express myself in these videos? So in your case also, I, I feel like you will be reviewing these themes. Um, if you have children maybe you will be reviewing like uh, how uh, you spend time with your children how you like i don't know spoil your children you, you know like uh, maybe you will start thinking about like how can i spend more time and have more fun with my child or children yeah because leo rules children it rules fun um hobbies creativity uh, it also rules romance so some Aries uh, who are very flirtatious, maybe you are involved in some fluing or situationship. And uh, this Venus retrograde will uh, make you reevaluate that uh, situationship. You will be like, do I really want to date this person? Uh, if not, you'll be like, okay, I'm out. Um, or this uh, Venus retrograde, if you like that person, you'll be like, okay, you know what? Let's make this uh, official. Uh, yeah, it can be a good time for that. Uh, what else? Like, although I, w uh, I wouldn't suggest starting dating uh, when Venus is retrograde because uh, Venus is invisible, so imagine love isn't present in the skies. So you don't want that kind of Venus, weak Venus, uh, in the DNA of your relationship. No, no, no. So don't date and uh, don't start dating. Uh, if you are already seeing each other and you want to make it more serious, then yes, maybe it's fine. But uh, uh, don't start dating the people that you meet uh, around this time uh, what else uh, so uh, Venus for you obviously love, uh, rules uh, love and relationships um, what else uh, also finances so try to review your finances like how do you spend on uh, fun okay because uh, it rules your money house in your fifth house so how do you uh, spend money on vacation maybe because um, the fifth house uh, rules uh, leisure time okay uh, so that is it for Aries and now uh, Tauruses. For Tauruses, uh, Venus will be retrograding in your uh, fourth house and fourth house uh, rules uh, the place where we live, okay? Uh, it's our home, it's our family, it's like where we feel safe and so I feel like uh, for Tauruses you will be um, reviewing uh, the decoration in your home, I don't know, because Venus is beauty. But at the same time, uh, Venus is your ruling planet. So this retrograde is especially important for you. So you might be reevaluating your um, values around family matters, around your home. Maybe you will be reevaluating the 
cost of your house now maybe your house is more expensive now and you will start thinking maybe i should sell this house and buy another house because you will make profit from the like sale uh, yeah so you get the idea because uh, venus uh, will be retrograding in your fourth house um so try to think uh, about uh, August 2015, what happened uh, in your home back then, in your family? Um, something important must have happened, so uh, this year you can expect something similar. Um, what else? Uh, so Venus rules your uh, first house, obviously, and your sixth house. So sixth house is your work. Um, yeah, so your home, your work, uh, all of those uh, themes. Uh, Maybe like uh, you will be reevaluating working from home because uh, a lot of people have started working from home. It's become a norm nowadays. Yeah, so now you probably reevaluating like, do I really want to continue working from home? Or maybe you do work in uh, in an office and now you'll start thinking maybe I should consider working from home. Okay. Uh, yeah, I feel like uh, you will be thinking about like decorating your home aesthetics. Um, so, but I wouldn't suggest completely like renovating your home around this period. Uh, yeah, don't be impulsive because after Venus turns direct, you might feel like, you know what? I actually don't like this color or like, I don't like the furniture that I bought. Like, why, what was I thinking? Yeah, so try not to be um, impulsive uh, regarding those matters. Um, so yeah, and Venus um, it also rules money. So as I said, maybe you will be reevaluating the cost of your house. Maybe you will be reevaluating how much you spend on your home, uh, how much you pay each month on your mortgage. Maybe you will be asking your bank to allow you to pay less each month. I don't know, uh, something like that. Okay, so that is it for Tauruses. And obviously, like uh, Venus also rules love, so maybe you will be reevaluating your um, love relationships, finances, sharing resources, like, uh, yeah, around uh, home matters. And now, Geminis. For Geminis, Leo, that is your third house. Okay, third house is a Gemini house. So you might be reevaluating, like, how you express yourself. Um, communication, like, um, siblings. Mm, neighborhood car because uh, third house is a very mutable house it's a uh, very like movement okay so maybe your car uh, i wouldn't suggest selling your car around this time because you, you will be selling it for less than it actually costs uh because you won't know the true value of your car because um yeah venus will be asleep so to speak um, but I would suggest if you are looking to buy a car, maybe it will be a good time to buy a used car because you will buy it for cheaper than it actually costs. Yeah, it might be a good bargain. Uh, so yeah, uh, maybe like, an, as I said, siblings. Um, so maybe if you had some sort of misunderstanding with your sibling and now during this retrograde time, you will um, get, back to get, like, uh, get back on good terms with your siblings. Yeah, uh, kind of like improve your relationship with your siblings because you will have some sort of understanding uh, regarding your relationship with your siblings on August 13th. Yeah, the Sun and Venus will be conjunct in that area. That doesn't happen often, so yeah, it will be uh, an important period. And what else? A neighborhood, as I said, uh, short distance travel. Maybe you will travel to some nice city because uh, Gemini rules uh, cities, uh, traveling short distance, and Geminis love living in big cities. Like, I mean, a lot of Geminis that I know, they love big cities. So maybe you will travel to some beautiful place that you visited before because Venus will be retrograde, so going back. So yeah, maybe you will visit some city that you really liked before. It might be a good time for that. And then, um, what else? So uh, as I said, uh, Venus will be making a square to Uranus, so maybe you will uh, hear some sudden news about your siblings, uh, some sudden news about your communication. Um, but also, that trine from Chiron will lead to healing, okay? Uh, so some uh, event will cause, uh, will make you communicate uh, what is frustrating you. Uh, yeah, and you will uh, ga gain some understanding and healing because of that. Uh, what else? So, and 
Venus, uh, you know, generally rules love, so um, yeah, you will be probably reevaluating your relationship uh, from like uh, with classmates, I guess, because uh, the third house rules schools, classmates. So maybe your uh, high school crush is gonna contact you. Yeah, because Venus retrograde means some old love is gonna come back. Yeah, maybe your classmate is gonna be like, hey, I've always liked you, I've always had a crush on you in high school. Yeah, I don't know, something like that might happen. Uh, so yeah, that is it for Geminis. And now, uh, Cancers. For Cancers, that is your second house, money house. So that should be interesting. Um, you will be reevaluating your spending habits. Like, um, yeah, like uh, the square from Uranus is gonna make you like really uh, reevaluate something financial because uh, Uranus is gonna bring some sudden changes, some sudden news. Uh, and you'll be like, oh wow, like what do I do now? Um, yeah, and then on August 13th, you will gain some sort of understanding. Um, some issue will be illuminated, okay? You will find out something and you'll be like, okay, like now it makes sense or now I see what I need to do. Does that make sense? And uh, so Chiron will be making a trine from your 10th house. Uh, yeah, from your 10th house. So maybe some sort of financial help from your work. I don't know, like, uh, yeah, so work and money, somehow uh, healing vibes uh, among those two houses. And uh, you will see what happens. Uh, yeah, but that trine is very good. So you can probably start uh, healing uh, your money issues uh, during this retrograde period. Try to think about uh, August 2015. What happened back then uh, in your like uh, money matters? What happened? Because like uh, this year, uh, this retrograde is happening in the same area of your life. Uh, back then, uh, Venus uh, was trining Uranus. Uh, yeah, so it, there was this like supportive, uh, supporting uh, energy. But this time it's a square. Yeah, so sudden changes and then also that uh, square to Jupiter uh, especially like connected to your second house so real I would say for cancers this retrograde is not really about like love relationships uh, but mostly it's about finances even if you do have like um, relationship issues it might be because of finances yeah because uh, second house of finances it's like double indication and that Jupiter uh, from your um, 11th house, yeah, uh, so spending, um, like Jupiter can make us really optimistic, so yeah, don't try to be overly optimistic, uh, mm -hmm. and 11th house is our wishes, our goals, I guess, um, our dreams, so maybe you might want to spend on your dream too much, but I would advise waiting until like September or ideally even October to really invest in your dream. Yeah. Uh, so that is it for uh, Cancers and now Leos. Yeah, you guys are the stars of this Venus retrograde. So for Leos, uh, this retrograde will be happening in your first house. So first house is the house of yourself. So I feel like Leos will be reevaluating, like uh, what are my values? Uh, in relationships, uh, how do I allow people to treat me? Like, uh, why do I tolerate disrespect? Uh, do I really want this relationship? Um, yeah, so you'll be kind of like uh, rediscovering your true value around this time. Uh, as I said earlier in the video, Venus will be far away from the sun, so Venus is kind of lost. So you might have been like tolerating too much in relationships, but now you, when you come back to the sun, your ruling uh, planet, uh, the star, yeah, you will be like, okay, you know what? I'm the queen or like I'm the king. Why am I letting all this uh, happen? Like this is BS. Uh, so yeah, you will discover your true value. And also, since uh, the first house rules your um, appearance, I would say you will be reevaluating your style uh, because Venus doesn't retrograde in your first house every year. No, it happens every eight years, uh, as I've said many times in this video. So try to remember uh, August 2015. What happened back then? Like, uh, what changes did you make? Like, uh, 
around your style. Uh, so I would suggest uh, don't make changes to your appearance. Don't buy you know, clothes uh, to like change your um, wardrobe. Yeah, don't do radical changes. Don't dye your hair, don't cut your hair too short because uh, you might regret it. Uh, when doing this trend retrograde mm, like uh, you might buy something you're like oh this is a great idea but when but then when doing this trend direct you'll be like why did i spend so much money on this yeah so really uh, instead use this time uh, to maybe research go on like pinterest and find the styles that you like uh, or maybe take a look at your closet and be like okay what do i want to get rid of like uh, what can i improve what mm, do I need to like I don't know make changes and um, Venus retrograde means going back to something as well maybe you uh, liked some style that you had before and now you want to go back for that then maybe yes it might be a good time to go back to that style but otherwise if you want to try something new it's not a good time um, so yeah in relationships but relationships are very prominent for you and so for Leo's, uh, you will be receiving a square from your 10th house, uh, Uranus. So your public image, your status, and it will be in some sort of conflict with your first house. Yeah, so maybe there will be some sort of drama. I hope it won't be drama. Yeah, and that will kind of like really make you reevaluate. Or maybe something work related, because 10th house is also work, career. Yeah, and maybe you'll be like, why am I working here? These people don't know my true value. They're, they're not paying me uh, as much as I deserve. Yeah, so you might be thinking those thoughts uh, during this uh, Venus retrograde. Or maybe there will be some sort of shocking news uh, regarding your uh, job um, and that will make you reevaluate uh, your worth, okay? Your finances, because Venus is finances besides relationships and also so uh, but uh, despite these uh, shocks from your 10th house uh, Chiron will be sending you uh, healing vibes from your 9th house so try to uh, listen to your uh, beliefs okay your personal philosophy whatever your mantra is try to remember that uh, think that a lot uh, so try to find uh, some mantra for yourself or if you do have one try to repeat that a lot because that will keep you um like conscious of what you truly like uh, are worth i guess yeah and uh, i don't know how to put it in words like because english is not my native language so i apologize for that but i hope you understood my point because ninth house is your personal beliefs it's your personal philosophy yeah so try to rely on that and chiron will be sending healing energy and so that magic potion is like really good as i said earlier this doesn't happen often so um yeah and then uh, that venus square jupiter um, from your 10th house so because you will be feeling like uh, your um, pride will be hurt uh, because of that the uranus square and you might want to kind of compensate for that by going uh, on shopping spree uh, shopping therapy but i would suggest like wait uh, until later okay instead try to review your finances around this time like uh, make sure your job pays you as much as you deserve okay mm, so i guess yeah uh, and then uh, venus uh, will be conjunct uh, juno uh, yeah so after after it turns direct you will be thinking about um, marriage stuff uh, who is your ideal partner what you want from your partner yeah so let's say if some of you do break up you after uh, Venus turns direct you will start thinking okay that relationship was horrible I regret too much disrespect but now in the future what do I want from my ideal partner yeah you will be thinking those thoughts um, so uh, I forgot to mention, like uh, this Venus retrograde will begin with that uh, conjunction to Lilith, okay? And so I feel like a lot of viewers, you will be, excuse me, uh, something flew into my eye. Yeah. Anyway, so uh, that conjunction to Lilith, uh, I feel like Leo's, you will be that on your rebellious side, rebellious feminine, okay? Uh, if someone hurt your ego, you'll be like. I will show you who is the boss. Uh, yeah, 
I'm getting like that kind of ideas when I think about this conjunction. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, so that uh, will be most prominent when uh, Venus starts then turning uh, retrograde uh, on July 22nd, yeah, so around that time. Especially Leos who were born uh, towards the uh, end of uh, Leo, like uh, July, July, no, no, August 23rd, 21st, August 20th. Uh, 22nd as well, 20, uh, August 19th as well, yeah, so those days, you guys will feel this the most, uh, especially when Venus stations retrograde. Also, uh, Leos who were born uh, around those uh, days, N wait, no, yeah, uh, on July 22nd, yeah, you will feel that um, station in your, uh, on your birthday chart. Um, yes, uh, what else? Leos who were born uh, on August 13th, you will feel that conjunction uh, in your charts throughout your year. So love will be somehow prominent for you uh, in the next year for Leos who were born on August 13th, like really prominent. I guess uh, Leos who were born on the 12th and 14th will also feel it, but yeah, you get the idea. Um, what else? So I guess that is it for Leos. Uh, and now next is Virgo. Virgo, for you, this retrograde will be happening in your 12th house. Like 12th house is very secretive. It's like our hidden part, our deepest part. Um, so Venus will be retrograde there. So like our, our self-worth on like a deepest level, I guess. Um, your true talent, uh, like uh, the deepest part of yourself, uh, as I said, like Venus uh, rules love, so maybe like some secret relationship or secret crush, okay? Mm, like I have Virgo rising myself, and so last time Venus was retrograde in my 12th house in 2015, I met somebody and I had a crush on that person it was like an instant crush like intense crush yeah and uh, i still think about that person but like i didn't really tell that person that i have a crush on him mm, because he was um he was an exchange student so i it was obviously not going to work yeah so uh you get the idea it was a secret crush venus in the 12th house so in your case it also might be something uh relationships but like in secret Virgos like don't get into like entanglements, okay? Secret entanglements. No, instead try to use that time to heal the deepest part of yourself because Chiron will be uh, sending healing vibes from your eighth house. Eighth house is transformation. Uh, yeah, like intimacy. Yeah, so try to heal your deepest part uh, through uh, yeah transformation intimacy, sexuality as well, because eighth house rules that stuff. Um, so yeah, Venus in your 12th house will be receiving a square um, from uh, the ninth house uh, in uh, like, yeah, Taurus, uh, Uranus. So I don't know, something travel related, I guess, sudden changes in travels like to faraway places because 12th house and ninth house are travel houses, far away land. Yeah, so uh, for, Le for Virgos who are traveling at this time, um, there might be like some sudden news, uh, maybe some sudden unexpected spending. Yeah, so if you do travel during this Venus retrograde, try to bring some extra money, just in case, just so you're comfortable and uh, ready for changes. Uh, okay, so what else? Uh, Venus will conjunct Sun in your 12th house um, on August 13th. So there will be some sort of like, healing understanding of what this like venus uh, retrograde is trying to teach you um it's a very spiritual house as well so some sort of like spiritual experience i guess uh, for those of you who are religious it might be a good time to uh, make some pilgrimage yeah because venus uh, and sun conjunction doesn't happen in your 12th house often it happens only every eight years yeah so it's this is very rare so uh, use this energy uh, if you are spiritual religious um, yeah for pilgrimage or some sort of spiritual stuff um, so yeah mm, what else and now uh, Libras 
Libra, for you, this is your ruling planet turning retrograde. As this doesn't happen often. Uh, so you guys will be reevaluating um, your friendships because Venus will be in your 11th house. 11th house is your friendships. Um, like, how do you relate to your friends? Uh, do you tolerate too much disrespect uh, from your friends? So maybe it will be a time to kind of like have that conversation, confront them and be like, hey, I don't like when you make this joke. Or um, maybe you, your friendship uh, like outgrew and you outgrew each other and you're like, okay, like, I don't see myself hanging out with that person anymore. We don't have anything in common. So yeah, you might be like, okay, maybe it's not. Uh, a good idea to continue this friendship anymore um, but uh, the involvement of uh, Uranus suggests that there will be some sort of like uh, sudden revelations regarding your friendships and that Uranus is in your eighth house so Libras I don't know this doesn't look good so your friend might do something like not nice because Uran uh, Uranus is in your eighth house and that is intimacy, intimacy with your partner. And so, yeah, that is making a square to your friendship. So maybe your friend, some of your friend, friends will be like too flirty with your partner and you are not going to like that. Yeah, um, so do be careful regarding those matters. Like, do be observant, I guess. Um, another interpretation for this retrograde might be that uh, an old friend suddenly will contact you or uh, because yeah Venus retrograde is like coming back so friend, some old friend is gonna come back uh, or maybe there will be some sudden revelation uh, regarding your friend yeah that friend who comes back they will say something uh, and you will be like wow and shocked a little bit yeah um, so yeah and then what else uh, you will have the conjunction of uh, Sun and Venus your ruling planet uh, in your friendship house that's also like a not friendships only but also like uh, groups organizations uh, your dreams when you have a, a common goal like uh, with the like-minded people yeah 11th house rules that it also rules technology so maybe something technology related mm, so there will be some sort of understanding maybe you realize that you um, I don't know su support some party you're like okay I want to vote for this party I support this politician because 11th house is is something like that and so Venus is our values and Sun is illumination you, maybe you will understand that you belong to that party that's one of the possible interpretations I'm not saying all Libras will experience this but yeah and so uh, Venus uh, is your ruling planet so you will be reevaluating your relationships as well uh, and your aesthetics so Libras uh, don't make impulsive changes to your appearance don't buy too many clothes um, you're not gonna like them anymore maybe uh, don't uh, experiment with like uh, some new makeup style yeah later you might feel like oh I look like a clown why did I use that makeup uh, you know so yeah um, what else oh that uh, crime from Chiron from your seventh house uh, so healing vibes yeah you your friendship will receive some healing uh your goals ideals will receive some healing from your relationships yeah this is a good energy mm, what else and then uh scorpios so scorpios uh, for you this retrograde will be happening in your 10th house 10th house is your uh status okay uh, your public appearance like uh, how people perceive you in public those who don't know you uh, your status uh, it's your profession your career public standing okay, standing okay so you will be reevaluating those themes regarding your career okay your appearance you you might be uh, thinking a lot about how do people perceive you okay you like maybe i come off uh, in this certain way or maybe you like i want I don't want people to think of me in this way uh, or maybe uh, yeah so or your career because Venus rules money and your career so it might be like uh, are they paying me enough and so you might be we might start thinking about asking for a raise 
or if you own a business you might start thinking about like uh, the your business's budget like uh, reevaluating maybe you're like you're spending too much on uh, employees who are not bringing much money or yeah like maybe some area of your business is not making much profit and so you will be reevaluating that um, what else since Venus rules your relationship house and it's in your 10th house maybe some Scorpios uh, you had some romance with your co-worker yeah so you will be reevaluating that romance uh, with your co-worker um, yeah and so there will be a square from Uranus in your seventh house so I don't know Scorpio some of you might be in an entanglement with a co-worker and your partner finds out so yeah there will be a problem right obviously uh, so do be careful don't get involved in uh, office romances because your partner your partner will find out uh, what else Chiron uh, will be sending a good uh, healing vibes from your sixth house though so yeah your work routine what you do every day will be like sending healing energies to your public standing yeah so the situation is not completely bad um, what else uh, Venus uh, will be conjunct Sun in your 10th house on August 13th so you, you will some, reach some sort of like understanding illumination okay um, yeah you know, the time will show uh, so that is it for you guys and as I said uh, so Venus rules finances uh, your 12th house as well um, so I feel like relationships secrecy because 12th house is secret uh, maybe you'll find out something about your partner or maybe your partner will find out something about you and there will be some difficult conversations uh, to be had or maybe like your public standing your social status will somehow uh, get that I, I don't know like uh, point, uh, fingers will be pointed at your social status somehow because uh, that yod at the beginning, the yod aspect from Pluto and Neptune will be pointing at your 10th house. Yeah, Scorpio, so do be careful around this time. Um, if, you, if you do get involved in some sort of drama, uh, rest assured that uh, Chiron will be sending healing energies. So uh, even if uh, some drama does happen uh, at the beginning of this uh, Venus retrograde, uh, your social standing will receive healing maybe uh, people will understand that it was not your fault okay and people will be like okay you are, you are not that bad okay we are sorry something like that um, okay so that is it for Scorpios and now Sagittarius Sagittarius this is uh, in your ninth house this Venus is in your ninth house um, so your beliefs your philosophy your personal philosophy uh, your traveling, uh, your higher education, yeah, so uh, your learning, your knowledge, the big picture, those uh, themes you, you will be reevaluating. Mm, those of you who enrolled in college, maybe now you'll be like, oh, maybe I should have enrolled in another college, in another university. Why did I accept this university's uh, offer? Or maybe you'll realize that uh, you're not getting a student loan, so you're like, maybe I should postpone the start of my higher education. You'll be like, maybe I'll, I should start next year. Um, but no, like, uh, it might not be like big changes like that, because like, um, the reason why I'm saying this is you have that Uranus square from your sixth house, yeah. So sixth house is your health, routine, work, yeah, so maybe because of work, uh, you'll be like, I don't have time to attend this webinar or like some uh, course. Um, yeah, or because of your health, you'll be like, maybe I should postpone the start of my education. Um, so yeah, expect some news regarding those matters, uh, especially at the beginning, um, like July and then like early August. But then by the time uh, Venus uh, and Sun are conjunct, you will reach some sort of understanding you will come to some sort of like decision uh, regarding your travel matters maybe oh yeah so not only the education that i mentioned earlier maybe you will be traveling at this time to some beautiful location because venus is beauty and uh, it might be some beautiful place that you visited before and now you went back because you liked it so much and so but now this time uh, your health might make you 
change your travel plans a little bit let's say you travel to that place you eat something and now you're like uh, feeling sick vomiting and you're like ah oh, like i'm not enjoying it that much yeah because uh, uranus is sudden stuff so if you do travel around this time make sure you eat things that you like don't experiment too much with cuisine i guess or have some like uh, medicines with you in case you get sick that way you are ready to face whatever happens and you avoid uh, like too much medical cost abroad yeah uh, so uh, venus uh, sun conjunction as i said on august 13th you will have some sort of understanding and then uh, venus will be squaring your ruling planet again in your sixth house um so sixth house again your health your work routine your pets yeah um, so i would suggest try not to travel with your pets around this time <laughs> or be careful not to spend a lot of money like um on your travel around this time because jupiter can make us very optimistic and venus is money so and it's in your travel house so uh, don't uh, max out your credit card abroad try to exercise caution yeah um, so what else so I feel like for Sagittarius, this Venus retrograde is not so much about like relationships, but like maybe spending on travel. You will be reevaluating that, or ah, like Venus is love after all. Maybe it will be about relationships, but your relationship with uh, foreigners, maybe your old love from abroad uh, or from another race, another nationality, another religion, they will make a comeback into your life and be like, hey, like we haven't talked and like um yeah long time no see stuff like that or maybe you will be the one doing that okay um if you do meet a new person around this time a new foreigner it, will, it is like with someone who is from your past life yeah uh, i don't know if you believe in that stuff but uh i do maybe you do too yeah it, it should be interesting but i wouldn't suggest starting a relationship with them because um it's very karmic and uh you met at a time when Venus was asleep, so love will not be that strong in that relationship. Yeah. Um, ouch, these bugs. Um, okay, anyway, so that is it for Sagittarius. Uh, now, Capricorns. Capricorns, for you, this retrograde will be happening in your eighth house. Eighth house is the house of shared resources, your partner's money, and loans. Um, it's the money that people owe you. Okay, so at this time you will be thinking about these things. You will be reevaluating them. And for you, Venus rules your tenth house uh, and your fifth house. Ooh, so romance and career somehow in your shared resources. So maybe you will be reevaluating how much you spend on your on the person you are dating, uh, or maybe you will be yeah reevaluating the profits that you made. Uh, yeah, or like. The, how, how you uh, share resources with your spouse those of you who are uh, in who are married because um, eighth house is where we share money share resources okay so uh, you might have some important talks around this time or uh, if people owe money to you maybe around this time they will pay it back or um, if you have some loans maybe you will receive some sudden news because of that uranus square and uranus will be in your fifth house so yeah uh, maybe you will have to spend on your children suddenly sudden expenses regarding children or maybe sudden expenses regarding your creativity um hobbies because those are fifth house matters um yeah and then yeah i would suggest the, like uh you will be reviewing mostly like money matters for you it's not really mostly about relationships um because eighth house is money house um and that uranus uh, square might bring sudden news so do be prepared um have some emergency money just in case what else uh, but the good news is uh chiron will be sending uh healing vibes from your fourth house uh, so that is good so your family might be able to help you somehow yeah uh, you can rely on your family to support you around this time and not just like financially maybe emotionally as well and uh, maybe intimacy because eighth house is not only money mm, but intimacy as well so 
so maybe you will come to some sort of understanding uh, with your spouse uh, after August 13th because that's when Sun and Venus will be conjunct in your house of intimacy and shared resources and that conjunction doesn't happen often in that house for you uh, it happens only like every eight years uh, in retrograde phase so yeah it will, it will be an important time so uh, if you are not satisfied with the way your spouse spends money use that energy to have that talk be like okay we need to have a talk and discuss okay um be like uh, okay we need to review our budget like uh, i think you're spending too much on that uh, or something like that um what else um venus will, will also be squaring jupiter uh, in your fifth house um so again fun creativity hobbies children and uh, shared resources so maybe yeah you'll be reevaluating uh, how much you spend on those things um, mm -hmm. so yeah and then uh, what else i guess this is it for capricorns and now uh, aquariuses for aquariuses you guys are like the second stars uh, after leo's uh, during this uh, venus retrograde because this retrograde is happening in your seventh house so for you, this is about relationships. You will be reevaluating your relationships, uh, like uh, how you relate to others, and like uh, what you want from relationships. Maybe you've been tolerating too much disrespect around this time, uh, or yeah, or maybe your partner is dissatisfied uh, with your behavior in the relationship. So you guys uh, might decide to break up. Uh, or you will have some sort of like misunderstanding and if your relationship is strong uh, then you will emerge uh, from this retrograde uh, stronger than before because you will have that uh, you will reach some sort of understanding on august 13th when the sun and uh, venus will be conjunct so the sun rules your seventh house and venus rules love as well so i feel like it will be a very very love relationship time for you it might not be about finances but mostly just relationships for you um, so yeah, uh, Venus uh, will be squaring Uranus uh, in your fourth house, so maybe your family doesn't approve of your partner. I don't know. Or maybe your partner doesn't get along with your uh, family members. I don't know. Or like uh, your, your partner doesn't like the place where you live at because fourth house is where we live at. Yeah, so those themes are like the sh sudden shocks, sudden revelations regarding those matters. Fourth house, family matters, and your relationships. Um, but the good news is uh, there will be a supportive uh, trine from your third house. Uh, so your communication, your siblings, uh, to your relationship house. So even if there is some un misunderstanding with your family and your partner, maybe your sibling will act as a mediator and like uh, be supportive around this time to your partner um, yeah and then what else uh, the square will also be uh, from jupiter in your fourth house so again maybe you will be talking with your partner about like moving in together because uh, fourth house uh, jupiter is expansion uh, at the place where you live at and your partner so the way I interpret it is maybe you'll be discussing moving in together. Yeah. Mm. So mostly for Aquarius, this is uh, really relationships. And then uh, after Venus turns direct, uh, it will be conjunct Juno uh, in your relationship house again. So uh, after all the fights, maybe or misunderstandings, arguments that you will have with your partner, uh, after you guys make up, you will be like, okay, I actually really love this person. I want to spend the rest of my life with this person. Maybe you will start thinking about like proposing to your partner. Who knows? Or if you do break up, maybe after this uh, retrograde, you will start thinking like, okay, what do I want from my partner? What do I want my, from my relationships? Because uh, that person that I broke up with, they did not uh, meet my needs okay so you will be thinking about those uh, matters okay so that is it for Aquariuses and now uh, Pisces Pisces for you this will be happening in your uh, sixth house and sixth house uh, rules your health 
your work, your routine, your pet, okay? So, um, your values regarding those things, um, your values uh, or regarding your pet maybe, um, or maybe how much you spend. You will be evaluating how much you spend on your pets maybe, or evaluating how much you spend uh, on your medical bills, because uh, six house rules health, yeah. Um, work um, services because six house is services so maybe you will be evaluating how much you spend on services okay um, so Venus for you rules your eighth house shared resources and it rules your uh, third house yeah so transportation siblings neighborhood neighbors uh, shared resources Intimacy with your partner, you will be evaluating those uh, in terms of like, uh, yeah, uh, health, pet. Uh, yeah, so for you, I feel like this will be most about reevaluating uh, spending in, uh, in those matters. And uh, since Venus rules love, so I obviously, I guess some uh, Pisces will experience uh, love matters as well. Um, but it might be like uh, maybe your relationship with a co-worker because uh, six houses are co-workers okay um, or our employees so um, maybe I don't know some entanglement with your employee uh, or someone who provides a service to you yeah uh, so it, now the aspect Uranus will be making a square to Venus in your sixth house and Uranus is in your uh, third house so third house Mm, your siblings, your neighborhood, so maybe you, your neighbors will be complaining about your pet making too much noise. I don't know, that's like one of the possible interpretations for some Pisces. I'm not saying it's gonna happen to all Pisces. Um, maybe there will be some sort of like uh, miscommunication, sudden news uh, about your neighbors and like, uh, or siblings and your health, uh, your work, I don't know. Um, what else? Uh, Chiron will be sending healing vibes uh, from your second house to your sixth house. Yeah, so money-wise, uh, yeah, you will be, you will have enough money to spend, I guess, on whatever uh, that comes from for your health. So maybe you receive some sudden news regarding your medical bills, but you will have money to pay for that. Or maybe your pet will require some sort of like medical uh, intervention and you will have money to spend on that i don't know that's one of the possible interpretations um because you know if i say one thing it doesn't mean that it's going to be true for all pisces it's going to be true for some pisces and like yeah uh, multifaceted yeah mm, what else so you will have the conjunction of venus and sun in your 13th house so maybe for some pisces who were having health issues that you didn't know about maybe around this time you will finally have some sort of diagnosis you will find out what is bothering your health yeah uh, for some Pisces th this might be the meaning of that um, what else maybe some sort of understanding regarding your work okay employment employees services pets okay some sort of understanding and uh, there will be healing after that um, yeah, so this is good news. Mm, what else? Uh, Jupiter will be making a square from your third house. So yeah, siblings, I don't know, some sort of like a sibling, your health, your work, routine, uh, services, pets. Yeah, it should be an interesting time. Uh, but overall for Pisces, yeah, this is not much about love, but more about like your values finances, um, how much you spend on like health matters, on your pets, okay? Uh, or how much you charge for your services, because six houses also, uh, also rules for that, uh, rules that, I mean. Okay, so this is it, uh, you guys. Um, this Venus retrograde uh, will bring some like sudden news, sudden revelations because of that square to Uranus. And then, um, there will be some sort of understanding when the sun will be conjunct uh, Venus uh, on August 13th 
and then um, the trine from Chiron should uh, send healing vibes so whatever that brings us revelations sudden changes we will receive some healing some yeah uh, so don't worry that you will get some trauma from this no you you will receive healing and um, Jupiter will be making a square so do be careful about your spending don't be overly optimistic this is not a good time to invest or splurge or like completely change our aesthetics okay instead use this time to reevaluate uh, your values in relationships and love um, your your spending habits really evaluate your spending habits uh, so yeah and uh, the thing about this Venus is that uh, by the end of August uh, Mercury will also go retrograde so we will have uh, Venus Mercury Saturn Neptune uh, and Jupiter I believe yeah uh, all retrograde so it will feel as though we are moving uh, as if we are trying to run in deep mud it will be exhausting yeah so do be, to, do be prepared for some misunderstandings instead try to use that time at that time to go within okay really reevaluate your beliefs mm -hmm. uh, so yeah I hope uh, this Venus retrograde won't bring too much heartbreak uh, for everyone, okay? I hope uh, you guys uh, will heal whatever romantic uh, pain you guys have had. Um, yeah, and uh, I wish you guys um, a pleasant uh, Venus retrograde, I guess. Um, thank you for watching. And if you liked this video, please subscribe to my channel, okay? Thank you.